everyone to a Bearded Woodworker's Christmas Special. I'd like to read you a Christmas Eve story, if you don't mind. Called The Night Before Christmas by the Bearded Woodworker. was the night before Christmas, when all through the house not a creature was stirring, except that stupid little mouse. Stockings were hung by the chimney real high, in hopes that that rodent won't crawl up inside. Our son was all nestled, all snug in his bed, with visions of Minecraft playing in his head and Mama in her bathrobe, with curlers in her hair, starts yelling at me sharply from the top of a chair. She looked at me and said, I thought you were the man in the house. Why can't you catch a silly little mouse? I closed all the holes. I filled all the traps. I even used Tillamook cheese in the traps. So I glanced at our cats, both pathetic and lazy, and they looked at me like I was playing crazy. Go do your job and catch that darn rat. And they both looked at me, licked their paws, and went back to their nap. From the kitchen to the living room, he seemed to move quicker. I didn't know what to do, so I took off one slipper. I threw it so hard that I twisted my knee. I missed by a mile and I knocked over the tree. It fell with some force and made such a clatter. The mouse ran towards my wife. Now she's up on a ladder. I can't take this one bit, she says. I can't take it no more. If you don't catch that mouse, I'm taking your DeWalt 12 inch double bevel sliding compound miter saw with precision laser cutting back to the store. So I flew in the air, even though I am fat, and I caught that little mouse with the ease of my hat. And I grabbed him, and I held him, and what did I see? Cutest little mouse smiling up at me. Please don't hurt me, dear giant, for my name is Jerome. You trapped me inside, and I just want to go home. Jaw-dropping, wide-eyed, I looked at my wife. Did you hear this mouse talk? It's like he came into human life. Don't worry, little guy. We'll get you home safe. So where do you live? Where is your home base? I live outside in a hole in the ground. That's where my family is. They're safe and they're sound. Well, let's get you home. I'll open the door. And I placed the cute mouse right on the porch floor. And as he ran in the grass and he hopped out of sight, he squeaked, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas. <laughs>